Create a twirl effect in Affinity Photo using equations. Something like the image here. A combination of multiple layers with different twirls. Create a layer via the layer menu. Fill with a gradient via the gradient tool. Select a new gradient via the swatches panel. I want multiple copies of that layer. So go to the layer menu and duplicate layer. Apply it three or four times. Resize a couple of those layers. I'm going to leave one layer, the background layer, untouched. Reduce the size of the layer via the bounding box. You could apply this effect to maybe 10 or 15 or 20 layers. Up to you. You could also use adjustments as well as effects on those layers. Go to the layers panel and select the top layer. Go to the filters menu and distort and equations. Set the coordinate system to polar. Instead of remembering all the equations, I've got a document with all the equations in. So copy and then paste into the R field. You can find the equation in the description field. Change the parameter A as well as the parameter C. Set it to a low value. I'm not going to use the parameter B in this video. Once you're happy with your design, click apply. At this point, I'm not touching the origin point of the effect. Select the next layer. Go to filters menu, distort and equations. Paste the equation into the R field and change the parameters A and C. Once you're happy with your design, click apply. Layers panel and the next layer. Go to the filters menu, distort and equations. Select polar, paste the equation into the R field, change the parameters A and C. I haven't changed the extend mode, I'm keeping it zero. Once you're happy with your design, click apply. I'm not going to use the background layer. I want to merge all the layers, so go to the layer menu and merge visible. All the designs are now one single layer. Go to the layers panel and delete all the earlier layers. With that layer selected, Go to the Filters menu, Distort and Equations, set to Polar. Paste the equation into the R field, set the Extend mode to Mirror, change the parameters A and C. Experiment with the settings as well as the origin point. All the steps can be saved to a macro, so you can apply it again and again. The B parameter is more useful if you move the origin point off the layer. Experiment with the origin point. Once you're happy with your design, click Apply. You can also fade the effect, so instead of the full-on twirl effect, you can blend it with the original design. Go to the Layer menu and Fade Equations. Set the Fade value to zero and then run through all the blending modes. Darken, Difference, Lighten, Overlay, etc. I'm not going to use the Fade, so I'm going to cancel it, but if you wish, click Apply. You can also use the equation with a shape layer. So go over to the tools and select a circle or heart, etc. Draw the circle or other shape on the document and fill it with a gradient. Go to the filters menu, distort and equations. Set the coordinate system to polar. Paste the equation into the R field. Change the parameters A, B and C. And also change the origin point of the effect. Experiment with the settings to create all kinds of shapes. Once you're happy, click Apply. The shape can be modified by other filters as well as adjustments, etc. You can also fade it. You can also apply layer effects. So go to the Layers panel. Go to the bottom of the panel and click FX. You can then apply blurs, outer shadows, bevels, 3D, etc. Change the settings for the 3D, bevel, shadow, etc. Once you're happy with your design, click Close. You can always go back and modify it at any point. You can now save the design to the Assets panel for future use. Or duplicate the shape and fill the entire document with your design. Or export it for use in other applications. I'm going to delete it. Go to the Layers panel and select the main layer. I'm going to add a selection to it. Use the Marquee tool and then Filters menu and Repeat Equations. That applies the full effect just to that isolated area. You can also go to Filters menu, Distort and Equations. Set to Polar and paste the equation into the R field. The effect is applied only to that area. 
You can change the origin point as well as the parameters. You can use this approach to fill the entire document with twirls. Once you're happy with your design, click Apply. If you're finished with the selection, go to the Select menu and deselect. Apply the effect to the entire document. Go to the Filters menu, Distort and Equations. Set the coordinate system to polar and paste the equation into the R field. Set the parameters A and C. Set the C value to a very low value. The equation is not set in stone, so you can go to the R field and change it. Go to the constants in the equation and change the 10 to 5.2 or 3.4, etc. You can also copy the equation in again, so you can have the first block plus the second block plus the third block, etc. Then change some of the constants for the second and third block or use cosine instead of sine. Keep experimenting with the constants, so change them to 2 or 5 or 10, etc. You can also continue to experiment with the parameters A, B and C, as well as changing the origin point of the effect by dragging on the layer. Once you're happy with your design, click Apply. As mentioned, all these steps can be saved as a macro, so you can reproduce it again and again. I hope you found this of interest. I'm Always adding new tutorials about Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer and other applications. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Please add a comment or two, as well as a dislike or like. Thank you very much.